we're not traffic wardens. We're not going to give you a pit ticket for your parking. We're nothing to do with that. We're not going to give you a fine for dropping your litter on the floor. So we're there working alongside the police to help people. So if you need any help, we don't bite. We will come and speak to you. And if you need us or you're in any trouble, come and find us. So we're out and about trying to tackle antisocial behaviour, drink related crime, drug related crime, violence against children and women. Probably relieving the police a little bit. We're there to just generally help the public and, and try and prevent crime. So we've got a radio that contacts the control room and goes directly to the police. So if we do need police assistance, we can call for it. Just before Christmas, uh, the fella was really high on drugs. Um, he was unresponsive in the car park laying on the floor. I had to attend to that. I had to switch my camera on. I asked possibly for an ambulance as well because I didn't really know what state he was in. We are first aid trained, but that is the sort of thing we're dealing with. There was a group of youths that um, were caught smashing up one of the toilet blocks. Obviously I saw I saw them hanging around the toilets. It's a well-known area for uh, criminal damage. So I observed from a distance, I saw what they were doing. I radioed up the control room, let them know my location and let them know what was going on. And then the control room can then move the cameras to the right place. So then when I go in to um, speak to the people involved, I have coverage from CCTV. So I spoke to the control room, control room got cameras on, they made the police aware. The police were coming to the scene as well. And I've built rapport with some of the kids now that if they see anything wrong, they know that I, they can come to me and talk to me and I can deal with the uh, deal with whatever the issue is. I think our presence, you know, um, when you see like uh, elderly people or people who don't like going out, when they actually see you, it might, you can see the look in their face that they want you to be there, that, that they feel safe and then they're glad that someone's there as well. I've dealt with assaults against women, people spiking women and stuff in clubs. So I, I've got the experience I need from that and I can bring it into the marshalling. I also come from an ambulance background, so I've done medical work before, before I've done security, but it's just something that needs stamping out really. And obviously hopefully us being there and people knowing what we are and what we do do will help women and children think that we're like a safety, they can come to us and talk to us. If they can't phone the police or they can't see a police officer, they can come to us and we can deal with it for them. At certain times of night when it gets dark, walking up and down the alleyway might not feel the safest thing to do. That's one of the reasons we go up and down the alleyways quite a lot in our patrols. Because there is someone there, we do have radios, we do have cameras. I've got given a list of all the businesses with a link to radio. So I went around to all the businesses and spoke to the people there, let them know who I was and what I was doing. Security looks static in a shop or at one location that need help. Obviously, they have the same radio as we have, so they can call, talk to us and we can come and assist them with whatever they're going on. So obviously, if there's a fight or a big shop lifting or something like that in the shop that they can't do, deal with on their own and they need assistance, we're here, they can contact us and we can go and assist them further and help them out. So the powers that we've got are, so we've got Section 24A of the Police Criminal Evidence Act, which is a, a citizen's arrest. So if I believe I've anyone's committed an indictable offence, then I can hold them there um, until the police arrive to then arrest them off of me. Also we've got Section 3 of the Criminal Law Act, which is um, basically just being able to defend yourself. So if you get into a situation where it's quite violent, that you have the power to then be able to defend yourself. Obviously it's a last resort. And also we have a radio that is able to connect to the police so the police can come to us quicker than a normal person who's been able to call them. So it's good to have that linked radio and have their powers that go hand in hand with the police. We wear a blue tack vest. The front of it says Marshall. We've all got SIA licenses for door supervisors. So that'll be on one of our arms in the um, in the armband, we've all got body cams, you'll see our radio and on the back it says Swale Borough Council Ambassador, so that's what you're looking out for. So look for the blue high and come and speak to us.